Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at a very cool and very free way of recovering your data using, well, recover. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we've taken a look at how to recover lost and deleted files quickly and easily and for extremely good value. And what I mean good value, I mean, well, it's absolutely free. Now, we're going to be looking today at Recover. Now, first of all, I should say this is not a sponsored or promoted video in any way, shape, or form. Recover does offer a pro version of their software, which gives you more features, but we won't be looking at that today because, personally, I think the free version does everything that we need it to. So, yeah, I haven't been paid or asked to create this content. This is purely on my own recommendations. And actually, I've been recommending this program to a lot of people, especially if you've come over here from the Microsoft file recovery video, which we did a little while back, which will also have linked. So that is a command line based version. Isn't as good as this, I'll be honest with you. Recover does seem to be the best one. And I'm not entirely sure why I haven't done a video on this already. I should have done. It's a very good piece of software. Now, also we should discuss as well, there are people out there and obviously CCleaner, and the company, Piriform, etc. There has been some dubious stuff going on in the uh, in the past there. The company now, as far as I'm aware, is owned by Avast, which is the antivirus software manufacturer. So it kind of comes underneath their umbrella. All I would say is if you're slightly concerned about using software from certain companies, you have to evaluate what is your data worth. Now, obviously, if you're trying to recover data, you're going to use all methods possible. And of all the methods on the internet, including the Microsoft version, there's also one from IMA Soft, and this one from Recover, I find this one to personally be the simplest to use and also the one with the most in-depth scanning. So with that out of the way, let's take a quick look at Recover. So as you can see here, so Recover, recover your deleted files quickly and easily. Actually, delete an important file. Yeah, well, we've lost it. So after a PC's crashed or something's happened, you can lose files. Two versions available, there's the free version, and also there is the pro version. It does mention about superior file recovery, obviously recovery from damaged disks. I guess to some extent, the disk is gonna to have to be somewhat recognized by Windows in order for it to actually do stuff, so um, I think that's gonna be more for bad sectors, those kinds of things, but also there's deep scans for buried files, and it does do an incredibly deep scan. The file, or the USB stick I'm gonna be using in today's video is a 32 gigabyte stick. And actually, after I did the long in-depth scan and saved it to my desktop, the file size was 365 gigabytes, which is absolutely huge. So it does pick up pretty much all fragments on the drive. So if you're not too sure where the file is or what it is, this could be the way forward. Just do be aware, you are going to need a separate drive or sufficient recovery space in order for this program to do its job fully. Although that isn't entirely necessary, as we'll see later on when we install the software. So it's going to ask you which is the right version for you. Obviously, like I said, I personally would go with the free version. If you want to pay money and get the professional version, you can do. That does have support for virtual hard drives. So that is going to be uh, down to VMs, that kind of stuff. I'm not entirely sure whether or not that supports things like OneDrive. Potentially it would do, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not going to say one way or the other. You can, of course, if you want to, you can get CCleaner, the professional bundle uh, that covers three PCs. So you get CCleaner, Defragler, Specky, and of course, you get Recover Professional as well, should you wish to. So you can click on those and do whichever one you want, but we're going to go with the free download. And you can see the differences there. So yeah, you get the advanced file recovery, but you don't get the other options there. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And I'm going to save this to the default location, which is going to be my desktop. So we're going to save it to the desktop. So we can now close this window down. We don't really need that now or minimize it. So when you start the installation, you'll get the user account control and you have no choice. You have to click on yes. If, obviously, if you click no, it will cancel the installation. So we'll click yes. And then it will start the setup. Now, previously in some versions of Piriform software or CCleaner software, it did install all kinds of other stuff. This doesn't appear to. So if you click on the customized version, all it's going to do is add a shortcut to your desktop, which you can choose or deselect, add start menu shortcuts, all that kind of stuff. And also we'll add additional things like scan for deleted files in your context menu for recycle bin and also in the explore context menu. You can, of course, if you want to, inform of updates to recover. 
but we'll leave that off. So that is basically as it is. I'm going to leave it as the default. So click on install. A pretty quick and straightforward thing to do. So now you get the option to run recover. And also you can see the release notes should you wish to. So we're going to run this. And it starts first of all with the wizard. And also you've got the other stuff in the background, which is the update. So we'll get rid of that actually. You've got the choice. So in future, you don't have to see this wizard on startup. So we'll click on next. And this is the options that we've got. So you can choose to try and recover all files, regardless of what their file names are. Specifically, you can go into things like pictures, music, documents, videos, compressed files, or emails, that sort of stuff. So it's going to give you a little bit of a option to narrow things down. Uh, I'm going to go with pictures for this particular one, just as try and keep this a little bit shorter. Click on next. And it says, where are the files? So you've got the choice for, I'm not sure. So we'll just basically search any connected drive to the computer. You can choose media cards or removable disks, that kind of stuff. My documents folder specifically, you can get it to search the recycle bin. So the native recycle bin on your Windows computer, or you can choose a specific location. So we are actually trying to recover from a USB flash drive. So we'll choose a specific location and we'll hit browse. And we'll close that slightly. So we'll just choose our USB drive here, click OK. And then we can click on next. Now, quite often, normally, at this point, for most recovery softwares, it would ask you where you want the files to actually go to. So what this is going to do, first of all, is it's going to do a preliminary search on the system, and then at the end, it's going to ask us where we want to go to. So you can also enable a deep scan. Uh, I'm not going to do that for, obviously, trying to keep this a little bit shorter. So just click on Next, and it says, no files were found. Would you like to scan again with a deep scan? So yeah, as you can see, it says it can take over an hour on a large drive. So let's go ahead, and we'll do the deep scan. And now it's going through and it's actually looking at files. So as you can see, it does give you actually a lot of information, tells you exactly what's going on, how long it's going to take to do it. Currently we're on stage one of three. And it's given you the current progress and it's already found 29 files. Sadly, it doesn't actually go along and show you them kind of in the background, what is going on, what it's found. Because obviously you could find that it's actually found the file straight away but you unfortunately do have to go through the rest of the process. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and we'll come back after and see what it's actually recovered. Okay, so we're coming up towards the end of the current scan. And already we've got nearly 4,000 files found. And there we go. So now it's gonna show you, actually let's uh, enlarge this a bit so you can see a bit better. So it does show you a thumbnail of all the files which is actually found, which can be recovered. And essentially all you need to do is to just basically select the ones you want. So you can put a tick box in there. I think if we're, I think you can actually do a select all somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where, but anyway, you can select your individual files. So uh, let's just choose those. And of course you want to, you can choose advanced mode. Oh, there we go. So you can do select all or deselect. You see what things are, you get the general idea. And of course in advanced mode you can choose this section again, but we'll leave that as pictures. In options, this is just general options for the system itself, so you've got English, you can choose various languages, a lot of them are supported, so if you're uh, in another country or using another language then you can of course do that. You can choose your default view as well, so list view, tree view, thumbnail view, etc. That's fine, uh, the wizard you can choose to have on or off and you've got the actions there so you can show various types of files it's actually quite an in-depth program it's uh, surprising how much you get considering this is actually free uh, drives you can choose to omit or show certain drives you've got their privacy policy etc and about of course but in general so we'll just click ok there so now we've got the option so we can recover those files so we'll click on recover at this point it's going to ask you actually where you want them to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose desktop. And if you want to, you can create a new folder. So we'll choose our new folder on the desktop, click OK. And there we go. It's gone through, it's found the five files that we've chosen. And obviously you get the nagware for upgrading, but essentially that is it. So if we go into our new folder, and there we go. That's the files that we recovered. Obviously, they don't mean much to me, but um, I'm just giving you an idea of what it can do and how it all works. But yeah, there you go. Considering it is free, I think it's absolutely great, the fact that it can recover files. The drive that I'm actually using is one that I use all the time for sort of file transfers and actually for doing BOSS updates as well. 
So there's a, a lot of data been written and erased and re-erased, etc. on there. So it does go in and find an incredible amount of things. Like we found basically 4,000 plus files just for images. So yeah, there is a lot of uh, flexibility and considerable amount of power there. So anyway, hopefully this video has been useful too. If it has, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you uh, want to get the software, again, head over and check it out. I'll also put links in the video description for other softwares that we use for data recovery purposes. Some you may prefer. Um, again, you can watch the videos and see what works best for you. There's the Microsoft one, the IMA soft one. We've obviously got Recover here as well. And if you know of any other data recovery softwares which you think we should check out on the show, then please do let us know in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.